Chapter 2 The Shadow The children are sleeping and dreaming. Suddenly the window opens. A small ball of light enters the nursery and flies around. It is a lovely fairy called Tinkerbell. She is looking for something. After a moment a young boy enters the nursery and says, Tink, where are you? Please find my shadow. Tinkerbell finds his shadow in the drawer and gives it to him. Now I can stick the shadow to my feet with some soap, he thinks. He tries and tries again, but he can't. He is very confused and starts crying. Wendy wakes up and sees the boy, but she is not afraid. His clothes are made of leaves. Little boy, why are you crying? Wendy asks. The boy takes off his cap and asks, What's your name? Wendy Moira Angela Darling. What's yours? Peter Pan. Is that all? Yes. Says Peter. Then he thinks, My name is very, very short. Wendy looks at his shadow and asks, Can I help you with your shadow? Yes, please. Says Peter. Wendy gets her sewing basket and sews on Peter's shadow. After a few minutes she says, Finished. Now you have your shadow again. Peter looks at the floor and sees his shadow. He is very happy and dances around the room. Oh, Wendy, you are wonderful. Says Peter. Do you really think so? Asks Wendy. Yes, says Peter. Wendy smiles and gives Peter a kiss on the cheek. Oh. Says Peter. How nice. How old are you, Peter? Asks Wendy. I don't know, but I am young. I don't want to grow up. I always want to be a boy and have fun. Peter looks around the room for his fairy. He hears a noise and looks in a drawer. Tinker Bell flies out. Wendy is delighted to see a fairy, but Tinker Bell is afraid. She hides behind the big clock. Where do you live, Peter? Asks Wendy. I live in Neverland with the Lost Boys, says Peter. Neverland? The Lost Boys? Who are they? Asks Wendy. The Lost Boys haven't got a mother or father. They are alone in the world and they live in Neverland. I am their captain. In Neverland we fight the pirates. We also swim in the lagoon with the beautiful mermaids. Fairies live in the trees in the forest. The fairies are my friends, says Peter. Oh, what fun! Says Wendy. I must go back now. I must tell the lost boys a story. They love stories, says Peter. Don't go away. I know a lot of stories, says Wendy. Then come with me, Wendy. You can tell us stories. We all want a mother. Please come, says Peter. But I can't fly, says Wendy. I can teach you to fly, says Peter. Can you teach John and Michael to fly too? Yes, of course, says Peter. John. Michael. Wake up. This is Peter Pan. He's from Neverland. It's a beautiful place, says Wendy. John and Michael are very surprised. We can go there with him. But first we must learn to fly, Wendy says. Wendy, John and Michael are very excited. They try to fly, but fall on the beds and on the floor. No, no, says Peter. 
Here is some fairy dust. He puts some fairy dust on their shoulders. Now try again, says Peter. Look, I can fly, says Wendy. I can too, says John. Me too, says little Michael. Tink, show us the way to Neverland, says Peter. They follow Tinker Bell and fly out of the nursery window. In the garden Nana looks at the sky and barks. Mr. and Mrs. Darling return from the dinner party. They go into the nursery, but it is empty.